I, I want to relate to them. I want them to be witty. I want them to be cool. I want them to have that unique aspect that all of us strive to have. Um, but I need there to be a little bit of a relationship because I don't want to talk to a fucking wall. Okay, okay, but well, part of the thing for me is is I specifically don't want my viewers to have any kind of relationship with fair. me. So like that's like it kind of works out, right? Yeah. I'm kind of like I'm hitting my. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my God! Stop! My goal, but um. <laughs> no, you totally no, are. And, and, yeah. And as weird as that sounds, and it's like. It's kind of like low key, like God complex kind of thing. Is I yeah. don't feel like many of my viewers should relate themselves to me because, and this is like super, like kind of like, like God comp, like kind of yeah. weird. <laughs> is like I do think of myself as better than, or okay. not better, but like bigger. Uh, this is going there's no, that. there's no good way to say this. I think of myself as like above the average person, so I don't feel like many people could relate to me. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Jagan Gaming. So a YouTuber and Twitch streamer by the name of MM Dust really re made a name for himself by telling the audience at TwitchCon that he doesn't want subscribers to relate to him and he thinks he's above the average person because he's got a god complex. So what the hell kind of asshole says shit like this? I mean this is a definite kill move. Okay and the thing is his channels aren't big enough for him, I mean, he's brand new, basically. His YouTube channel has over 1,200 subscribers. His, no, his Twitch channel's got about 11,037 uh, followers. But, according to Social Blade, I believe it was showing that only like 43 people are watching his content. So that's not exactly good either. So for him to sit there and, have, and make these kind of comments, you know, it tells me that, you know, this kid either grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth, he was an only child and always got the attention from his mom and dad, and they probably gave him everything he wanted, or C, he has never been punched in his face before. Okay, he's never been in a fight, he's never had to defend himself, and he's probably never been humbled. So basically, this guy's attitude is, hey, subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and oh, by the way, go to my PayPal and Patreon and give me your money. Yeah, fuck this guy. So basically, I'm sure, you know, you know, he's going to have to start running damage control, because I'm sure when you watch the video, you see the guy on the right, how he kind of like, was real quick to want to sit down. It looked like he was trying to like, salvage the, you know, the Q&A. But, like, dude, bro, we're, we're past that shit. This guy just keeps saying stupid shit. So, he's probably gonna, you know, release some kind of bullshit apology. And, dude, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm pretty, you know, you two, we're, we're so fed up with receiving bullshit apologies from people like you who do stupid shit like this. You know, don't do, like, some lame-ass apology like Monday Matt or Philip Mewson. You know, either if you're if you're gonna apologize, make sure it's a good one. I'm just giving, I'm just giving you a heads up notice. You're only gonna make you know a bad situation worse. Okay, now the thing is, you would think he's probably gonna be losing subscribers. I think on Social Blade it said that he lost eight subscribers today. That was earlier today. That was a few hours ago. But he has also gained a few subscribers as well. And I do know there are some people. You know, when you portray yourself as someone who does stupid shit or says stupid shit all the time, you know, there are a lot of people who like that kind of stuff. You know, they like to flock towards drama. They, they like to embrace drama and that kind of shit. So they go on that channel just so they can watch you say and do stupid shit. Okay? And I get that. You know, everyone has their poison. Now, if you are on his channel and you're not one of these people who are there to hopefully watch him do, say, okay, you know, he made a jackass out of himself. Let's see what else he does that's stupid. Okay, unless you're, if you're not one of those people, you really don't need to be on his channel. Okay, if he's going to sit there and say, oh, hey, I'm better than you. No, fuck you, dude. No, you're not. You are not better than me. You sit there and play video games all fucking day. Okay, unless you've got a full-time job or something like that. That does not, you sitting there being a YouTube or Twitch streamer does not make you better than anyone. Okay, and I've run into a lot of people in my life where I thought, wow, they are such a better person than I am. And that was just the God's honest truth. They would do things that I would definitely think twice about. You know, these are people who get up and go, you know, and volunteer at the homeless shelter. 
They volunteer at the soup kitchen. They do all kinds of volunteer work, and they're doing all other kinds of shit. And me, just being the asshole I am, I'm like, uh, I'm not really feeling getting up at six o'clock on a Saturday morning. Okay, you know, and in my eyes, yeah, that kind of makes them a better person. Okay, but you, you know, people can be better at a, a lot of things. I've run, like I said, I've run into people who are like better NCOs than me, but because they have better, they had a lot more experience than what I had in certain, you know, aspects of leadership. Okay, and I just felt like, wow, they're a lot better than I am at this. Okay, and you're gonna run into people like that. They're better at sports. They're better at gaming. Or, you know, whatever the hell it is, they're better at. But that does not mean that they are a better person than you. Okay? So, this guy is, you know, and here's the deal. It's just like, you know, Dark Side Phil and Mundane Matt. What they don't understand is that, and, you know, MM Dust, you, as far as I'm concerned, you are now in that category with DSP and Mundane Matt. Okay, you guys don't get that your subscribers don't owe you anything. Okay? You don't they do not owe you a damn thing. You, however, owe them in order for them to keep coming back to your channel. Okay? Now sit there and think about that for a second. Okay, if, now if YouTube and Twitch is the, if you're working to, you know, so that this is a full-time thing for you, so that YouTube is your job. YouTube is how you're going to start putting food on the table, then yeah, you need to start relating to people. Okay, that is what is going to make people want to come back to your channel. So, I mean, perfect example, I have plenty of channels that I subscribe to, and anytime I get that notification that they've posted a new video, instantly I go, I go to the channel so I can watch the video. Because either A, they're entertaining, Okay, they make me laugh. B, they they share uh, you know similar political views. C, you know they're providing me with some kind of service. I'm walking away with some kind of educational benefit. Okay, you're teaching me how to build a computer. You're telling you're you're doing reviews on tech. Like you know like when the new iPhone comes out. Okay, the new Samsung Note comes out, and you're doing a review on it, letting me know yes you should buy this or no you shouldn't. This is crap. Okay. That is what's going to make me come back to your channel, and that, depending on how good your content is, is what's going to make me want to pull that 20 bucks out of my pocket and donate to your channel. Okay? Obviously, you didn't get that fucking memo. I mean, how are you this fucking stupid? And I can understand it if maybe you just want privacy and you don't want... But the thing is, is that when you made the conscious decision to become a YouTuber, and a Twitch streamer, you are putting yourself out there for the world to see. Okay, you are putting yourself out there in the public. So it should you should have had some kind of understanding that, okay, if I'm successful, people are going to want to stream with me. People are going to want to play with me. People are going to want to talk to me. People are probably might even want to meet me. And if YouTube and all this stuff is going to be your full-time job, you cannot tell these people to fuck off. But see, you know, now for you, that ship has already sailed. All right, you fucked up, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, this is a fucking kill move. I, I just thought, wow, this guy just does not give a fuck. But it is what it is. Okay, this is the kind of idiot who in 5 to 15 years, maybe even sooner, he will be working at Starbucks, okay, making coffee. Okay, he will be stocking the shelves at McDonald's. Okay, he will be, or not stocking the shelves at McDonald's, he'll be stocking the shelves at Walmart, rather. He'll be flipping burgers at fucking McDonald's. And, you know, Dark Side Phil and Monday Matt are going to be right there with him. Okay, these people, you know, they don't strike me as the smartest individuals. They're probably not very good with their money. They probably weren't smart enough to invest in themselves. And then you fuck up YouTube. And now you got to go out into the job market and have fun on that resume when that potential employer looks at you and asks, hey, what have you been doing for the past 5, 10, 15 years? What are you going to say? Oh, well, I was on YouTube playing video games all fucking day and I fucked up and now my channel tanked. Now I got to get a job. Well, guess what, asshole? Okay, you didn't think enough to get any job skills or education, so now you fucked yourself. Again, 
you're not exactly striking me as the sharpest tool in the shed. At least have a backup plan for when you fuck up and do something this goddamn stupid. But anyway, that, that, that's pretty much it. I, I just wanted to make a quick video on this. And I know there's a few videos out on this asshole already. But, you know, everyone's really just getting a good laugh out of this. And they're just wondering, how the hell do you just destroy your career before it even started by being stupid like this? So let me know what you think. Do you think this guy's going to be able to recover? You know, if he makes a, you know, a solid apology, you know, do you think people are going to, you know, give him a second chance or is this asshole done? So if you, so, you know, sorry. Sorry, my dog is fucking around. But let me know what you think. So go ahead and write a uh, comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and I will see you guys next time.